Hey guys, this is Daniel from fitnessbuilder.com and today we're going to be going through an upper body, specifically arms workout. Now with this workout we're actually going to be using dumbbells and if you have a bench handy then uh, definitely use your bench but you can also do this off of a physio ball or just laying flat on the ground. So we're going to be mainly focusing on the bicep and the tricep as well as the top of that shoulder, so outside of that deltoid. This is primarily a strength training routine but depending on the number of repetitions and the amount of weight you use it's going to change drastically. So we're going to be doing 10 repetitions, three sets through of each exercise. We're going through eight total exercises and we're going to be doing a, what's called a super set. So we're going back and forth between two different exercises to uh, take as little time as possible. Now this is, though this is primarily focused on strength training, don't worry ladies, this one's for you as well. If you want really nice shapely arms, then strength training is definitely the way to go. For all those guys out there, if you want a nice round shoulder, nice big full uh, bicep and tricep, and then just use a little bit more weight. If you want to, you can even cut the repetitions down to eight repetitions to get a little bit more strength training out of it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Our first exercise is going to be an overhead press, and we're going to be supersetting that with a seated curl. So let's go ahead and get started with our overhead press. Now, an overhead press, you can do seated or standing. I'm going to do mine seated if you want to. If you have an adjustable bench, you can actually pull the back of the bench up to protect your back to help you keep a nice straight back. Otherwise, just sitting nice and straight and tall. Dumbbells out to the sides, forearm pointing straight up in the air, slow press straight above your head. Nice and slow back down to your sides. As low as you can go without letting that forearm kick out to the sides and back up. Nice slow controlled motion. Keep those lungs open, back flat. If you want to, you can put that breathing in so you exhale on your exertion, so pressing up. Inhale as you come back down. Otherwise, just keeping those lungs open, breathing normally. Make sure you're keeping those motions nice and slow. We've got two more repetitions to go. That last one, press it straight up, full extension, nice and slow back down, and let it relax. So let's get those dumbbells up. We're going to switch over to that curl. I'm going to use a little bit less weight for that curl. Again, I'm going to do this seated. You can do this standing, no problem. If you're doing it seated, bring those knees together nice and close. Arms straight down by your sides, palms forward, nice slow curl, all up to that shoulder. Slowly back down. Make sure that elbow stays directly underneath your shoulder. That's one of the biggest mistakes that most people make when they're doing curls. So when they come up to the top, they let those elbows pull forward. And all you're doing is cheating by using your shoulder. So keep that elbow back. Nice tight squeeze the top. Again, slow motion, keeping those lungs open. Good burn towards the end is our last one. And let it relax. All right back to that overhead press. I'm going to try one more set with that heavier weight. Now it's kind of a balancing act on finding exactly what right weight you need to use. So nice and slow, press it up. And back down. The key is when you're using strength training type, type techniques, you don't want to be able to actually finish that third set. If you're going for 10 repetitions, then that last set you should be maybe, maybe hitting like eight repetitions and then need to rest to finish off those last two. So same thing with that second set. Should be very difficult. Yeah, that's starting to burn.
Try to keep that back nice and flat. Try not to over uh, arch that back. Ouch. Two more. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. Two more repetitions. Whew. Let's go and switch back to the seated curls. Again, sitting up nice and straight and tall, make sure that back is flat, and start in. Keep that elbow directly underneath that shoulder. Keep those lungs open. Few more. Two left. Last one. Nice little curl. Squeeze it and let it relax. All right, one more. The overhead press. Actually, I'm gonna leave that weight right where it is. Drop down just a little bit for that last round. Since I was having trouble on that second set. All right, last round of the shoulder press. Hands come up. Remember, try to keep that motion slow. Whatever you do, you don't want to build momentum into it. Nice neutral spine. Halfway through. Just a little bit weaker. Give it just a rest. We're gonna do two more to finish off at full 10. Just give it a second to rest and finish it up. Nice. All right. Got one more round of those curls. We're gonna go ahead and stay right where we're at. Adjust that weight if you need to. Again, nice neutral spine. Let those hands drop down next to your shoulders or right underneath your shoulder. Upper arm stays right underneath that shoulder, elbow right underneath that shoulder, and curl it up. Keep those lungs open, neutral spine. Those arms should be getting really tired. If you're doing strength training technique properly, like I said, you shouldn't be able to finish those last few. Seven. Eight. Nine. Keep those elbows back as much as you can. And 10, nicely done. Go ahead and set those dumbbells up. Those arms are rest for just a second. We're we'll moving on to the next two exercises, which can be a lateral raise. Uh, so the arms coming straight out to the sides. We're gonna do palms back to hit a little bit more of that rear shoulder. And an overhead tricep extension. So we're gonna be doing this one arm at a time. We're still gonna go through a full three sets on each side. So starting off the first one, the lateral raise with those arms, with that palm turned back, it's gonna be a really, really weak spot. So start really light. All right, so palms facing back behind you. Again, you can do the seated if you want to, or standing is fine. Nice, slow, controlled motion, raising up out to the side. You can already tell this is gonna be hard to finish. Picked a little too much weight. We'll see if we can get through. You wanna to try to get those hands to about shoulder height, higher if you can. That range of motion is gonna stop you before you get too much over that shoulder. Those lungs open. Try to keep those palms facing back. 
Last one. Yeah, Chan, let it relax. All right, we're moving on. That next one, like I said, this next one is gonna be an overhead tricep extension. We're using it one arm at a time. So this one, you can use a little bit more weight on. You can do this seated, you're using one hand at a time. Arm comes straight up over top of your shoulder. Keep that elbow directly above that shoulder joint. Nice and slow, drop it behind your head as far as is comfortable, then press it right back up. Nice smooth range of motion. Make sure, again, that elbow stays right above your shoulder. A few more to go. Whew, it's already burning. Two more. Last one. A little help there. And let it relax. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, switch hands. Same exact motion on the other side. Nice, slow, controlled motion down. And a slow press right back up. Keep those lungs open. Neutral spine. Don't let that chest arch back. Again, let that hand drop as far as you possibly can. If you need to, drop to a lighter weight to get that extra range of motion. It's a few more. little help. My left arm is definitely a lot weaker than my right because I'm right-handed. So if you find that your left arm is stronger, it's typically because you're left-handed. Go ahead and let that one relax. Switch it off. We're going back to that lateral raise. We're actually going to use nothing at all on this one. Like I said, this is a really difficult exercise to do. So again, palms facing back behind you, that lateral raise. Nice and slow, squeeze it up. It's always more important to get more range of motion than using more weight, because you want to try to build that strength all the way through that range of motion. And just like I was saying with your arms, with that tricep, one side's gonna be stronger than the other, so you might find that one has more range of motion than the other. Almost done. Your last one. And let it relax. All right, let's go back to that tricep extension. I'm gonna drop the weight down just a little bit. All right, starting back over, arm straight above your head. Try to get that elbow directly above that shoulder. Nice neutral spine. Drop that hand back as far as it's comfortable and then right back up. Just concentrate on that form. As those arms start getting tired, that elbow's gonna start trying to kick out to the side. But try to force it to stay straight up and down. Almost done. One more. And let that one relax. Same thing on the other side. Full extension. And start it up. Nice slow controlled motion. Down. Back up. You're gonna have a tendency to want to push through this really, really quickly because your body's gonna to want to start building momentum to get that weight back up. 
but you're going to get more muscle development and a more even full strength, that entire range of motion, if you move slowly. Whew, this is burning already. Two more. Last one. And let it relax. Nice. All right. Back to that third set of that lateral raise. Again, palms facing back behind you. Nice neutral spine and start it. Lift those arms up and out to the side. Those arms are probably dying right now. They're probably really, really heavy. Not wanting to do what you want them to. Just keep pushing through it. One more. And let it relax. All right, that means we have one, one more round that overhead tricep extension. This is always the worst one, that third round. Those arms are already nice and tired. Okay, let's start it up. Hands straight above that shoulder. Nice neutral spine. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Keep those lungs open. Keep concentrating on that form. Again, keep that elbow directly above your shoulder joint. Two more. Last one. And let it relax. All right, last one on the other side. Arms straight up. Neutral spine and start it. Full range of motion. Remember, if you can't get as much range of motion as I can, get that hand down back behind you. If it's a flexibility issue, just work on that flexibility. If it's, if it's a strength issue, then drop your weight. Use a lighter weight until you can get that full range of motion. Yeah, that left arm is definitely weaker for me. Two more. A little bit of help if it needs it. Oh, and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and take a little bit of a break. We've got another four exercises to go before we finish this up. All right, guys, our break is over, so let's go ahead and move into our next four exercises. Starting for our first two is going to be an Arnold and a hammer curl. Now, an Arnold is a version of a shoulder press or a military press. 
that has a little bit of rotation in it. So we'll go ahead and show you that one first, then we'll do that hammer curl. So Arnold, again, start with something relatively light. If you've never done this before, if you have, you probably want to do something light anyway. So I am starting relatively light just because I know these are relatively difficult and my shoulders are already dead. They're really tired, so you don't want to overtax them. You want just enough to get them tired. You get a few of those muscle fibers to rip. So Arnold's, start with your palm facing forward in front of your chest. You're gonna press it straight up in with your hand over top of your shoulder. And then nice and slow, back down, ending with that elbow back in front of your chest, palms facing back in towards you. So the key is to keep those elbows in nice and close. So let's go and start up, nice straight back. Slow press up and slowly back down, rotating that fist. The top, that, fish, that palm should be facing forward. At the bottom, that palm should be facing back towards you. Again, nice and slow. Don't build any momentum. Keep those abs engaged. Keep those shoulders pulled forward. One more. And let it relax. Whew. All right, so I'm gonna actually keep that same exact weight to do my hammer curl next. You can adjust if you need to. So that hammer curl is exactly like a traditional curl. The only difference is that palm is facing in. So your palms are facing in towards each other instead of facing forward like a traditional curl. So we're gonna let those arms relax straight down to your sides. Knees together, keep those knees out of the way of that dumbbell. Palms facing in towards each other, curl it up. Thumb to shoulder, nice and slow back down. Full extension and back up. Again, keep that elbow tucked back behind you. Straight underneath that shoulder, don't let it pull forward. And my arms and my shoulders are just screaming at me the entire time, telling me to stop. But you want to push them past their comfort level if you're going to make any improvement on that strength. One more. And let it relax. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop weight for that next set of the Arnold. My shoulders are just dead, so I'm gonna need to drop a little bit. Otherwise, my form is gonna get too sloppy. So it's always important to keep that form nice and clean. All right, let's do that next round. Palms facing in towards you to start. Elbows pulled in nice and tight. Neutral spine, and start it. Press it up. Again, keep those elbows in nice and tight. Just keep that motion going. Abs nice and tight, get those shoulders forward, that chest forward. Two more. And there you go, go ahead and let it relax. All right, back to that hammer curl. Nice straight back. And start it. Few more to go. Two left. And 
and let it relax. All right, we have one more round of each. Those arms rest for just a second. It's one bad thing about these supersets is you don't have any time to rest. All right, back into that Arnold, the last one. Palms facing towards you, and start it. Nice neutral back. Get those abs engaged. Two more. Last one. Nice. And let it relax for just a second. Moving back to that hammer curl. Nice straight back. Those arms relax down to your sides. And start up, palms facing in. Nice, slow, tight squeeze the top. Keep those lungs open. Just two more, keep pushing through it. Last one, tight squeeze. All right, go ahead and drop those weights back. All right, we just have two more exercises to go. We've got a ventral raise and then a skull crusher. So our ventral raise, we're doing with palms up. So arms in front for ventral raise, palms facing up towards the ceiling, and bring them up just to shoulder height and back down. If you can get them a little bit higher, that's fine, but that range of motion with that shoulder is probably gonna stop you. All right, so start out really nice and light with that ventral raise. I'm going to do it seated. You can do it standing if you want to. It's perfectly fine. Just make sure that back stays neutral. Same thing when you're seated. Arms come down to your sides, palms facing forward. Almost the same position as a start, start position as a curl, except that shoulder does, does the motion rather than the elbow. So bring it straight up, chest height. Whoo, that's going to be heavy. Try to keep that elbow relatively straight, but don't completely lock it out. You want a little bit bent. One more. And let it relax. Whew. All right, we're gonna use the same exact weight, or I'm gonna use the same weight for my skull crushers. This one you're gonna be laying flat on your back for. So you're gonna lay out flat on your back. Arms start directly above your shoulder, so that elbow's directly above your shoulder, wrist above that elbow. That upper arm's gonna stay right where it is, bend only from that elbow, drop it back behind you, and then press it right back up. Make sure as you start doing this, as you start getting tired, those elbows don't start trying to pull over top of your rib cage more. You want them just on top of that shoulder only. Just keep that motion going, nice slow controlled motion. Again, try to get a nice full range of motion. Lungs open. One more. And there you go right there. Go ahead and drop them. Sit back up. Another round of those ventral raises. All right, so nice straight back. Drop those arms down, 
and slowly pull them up right in front, slowly back down. Now I should have probably dropped weight on this round, but we'll see if I can get through it. Concentrate on that form. Try to keep it as clean as you possibly can, even when you're getting tired. It's two more. Last one. Ouch, Whew, that burns. All right, let's go back to that skull crusher. So sitting back, arms right above that shoulder. And slowly bend to that elbow, hands come down as low as you can get them, and right back up. So if you're doing this laying flat on the ground, then those dumbbells are going to be restricted by where that ground is. You're probably not going to be able to get a full range of motion. But if you're on a bench, you should be able to get those dumbbells out past those ears, get a more full range of motion. Watch those elbows, make sure they don't come in over top of that rib cage. You want to keep them up over top of that shoulder or out further if you can. Halfway through. Two more. And last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. All right, I'm gonna drop that weight for this last set, those special raises. Again, palms facing forward, nice straight back. Watch that form, make sure it's nice and clean, slight bend in that elbow. Remember, up as high as you can, as long as that range of motion isn't limited. Keep those abs tight. Few more to go. Two left. Last repetition. Nice tight squeeze. And let it relax. All right, one more round of those skull crushers. Add a little extra weight back on here. Laying flat on your back, arms straight above those shoulders, palms facing in towards each other, and start it. Drop those elbows down, or drop those hands down, keep that elbow straight above that shoulder. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Almost done. Well, over halfway anyway. That's number six. Keep those elbows up towards those shoulders. Almost done. Just have two more repetitions. Those triceps should be burning like crazy. One more nice, slow, controlled motion. And let it relax. All right, that is it for our shoulders and bicep tricep workout. It was a really good one again.
focus on those all the way through that arm. So this workout is complete. Good job, guys.